Microsoft Copilot for Service is designed to use AI to solve this problem. Data everywhere, knowledge bases everywhere, and the amount of work and time that it takes for your agents to find it. It's designed to be a plug and play experience that works across the customer service agent experiences in Dynamics 365, Salesforce, ServiceNow, and Zendesk. And this was just announced at Ignite. So we're gonna go through the concepts of what this will be about. I'll take you through pricing and availability at the end, and then stay subscribed. I'm gonna be doing content on this as soon as I get my hands on it for real once it's available. So the experience is going to be this very easy plug and play. You open up this agent experience, choose one of those four systems ready to go out of the box. And then you can choose other data sources as well. So if you've also got knowledge in your website, if you want to upload offline documents, connect it to your SharePoint site, whatever it is you want, and then you've got a Copilot experience there on the side. So what this is doing is using a large language model that's already plugged in here to create this chat experience over all of those knowledge sources. So you're basically feeding your Copilot or your chatbot with all of that organizational knowledge. And then it uses that technology like ChatGPT to just be ready to go with all of that knowledge inside it. So then what we want to do is put that in the hands of the agents in the various tools that they use. And that includes the actual software that you use, one of those four we mentioned earlier. But agents often are working in Outlook and Teams. And even if you're not using the Microsoft customer service system here, chances are you're probably using Outlook and Teams every day alongside those other systems. And this is really going to bring all of that together for you. So here's an example of what it will look like inside Salesforce. So we've got that agent copilot down the side there where it's providing the answers to those things and a similar experience in the other systems as well. But where the real power of this comes in is enabling this to work inside these other tools and also that it's going to include Microsoft 365 Copilot. So we've got these two Copilots working together and there are many, many different Copilots. So just to level set on this, Microsoft 365 Copilot is the one that works across all of your knowledge in your organization, your Microsoft Graph, all of your emails, your chats, all of those productivity tools. And it allows you to do things like catch me up on what's happened with this meeting, with this customer, with these emails and, and a whole heap more. I've got a whole video going through that if you'd like to know more about it. So Copilot for Service includes Copilot for Microsoft 365 in the license, which means now what you've got is a Copilot that is connected to your knowledge bases and to your cases and also to those tools that we're using. So let's take a look first at what that looks like in Outlook. Concept here is that you're receiving an email from a customer and chances are you're doing that in Outlook in that first instance. So what happens here is that knowledge base that's now connected up, the Copilot has all of that knowledge inside it, it will pop up and prompt the agent with, here are some suggested knowledge articles which makes it quick and easy for them to find it. But we don't just stop there. We want to reply to the customer. So Copilot can help you draft an email based on those knowledge sources. And you can choose the type of email that you want to draft. And this is very crafted towards that agent service experience. You get your draft email, but because it's Copilot and not Autopilot, you do get some input here to change it. So what it will always do is create a draft for you. You can change the tone. You can suggest a meeting time, add other comments in there. And then we end up with that email draft ready to go. And the agent can click on that, modify it as needed and send it out. So they are always in control, but it's giving them all of that information and that first draft to start with rather than having to do all of that from scratch. This is another example of something where it's starting to bring in more of that data. So we've already got an email thread here from a customer. Someone else is perhaps coming in here and can see the summary of the email and the summary of the case coming through from that service system. Let's take a look at what this looks like in Teams as well. If you are using Teams to do calling for your customer service scenario, then you can have this in here too. So the customer is asking about something, 
right in line here, we can get those answers from the knowledge base about what's going on by asking those questions and again, getting the suggested knowledge base answers. And going a step further here, that same experience of seeing the summary of the case and everything that's related to it from that customer service system, that core system that you've got, right in the context of the Teams call. Where it gets really exciting though is the combination of these two co-pilots together. So this is the Microsoft 365 co-pilot where it can actually start to look across other types of data and take other types of actions. So we can come through here and say, what should I do? This person has a machine that's broken. What should go on here? And it's giving you some information about based on similar cases. So first it's going into that agent experience and getting other information about your cases. And then, okay, let's go ahead and place an order. And so now this is generating an order which will go through to whatever other system that needs to be. And you can take all of that action. So this is very coordinated experience that goes end to end through to actually placing that order for the customer. Now, if you're an existing Dynamics 365 customer or you've come across this other piece here, Copilot for Dynamics 365 customer service, that's something that already exists. If you don't or you're using one of the other systems, stick with me because this is relevant. So what happens here is that if you've got Copilot inside Dynamics 365, because obviously this is Microsoft stuff, you've already got some experiences going on here that are a little bit ahead of this recent announcement. So within that system at the moment, we've got these four things and these four things are also going to become, they're on the roadmap to become part of that Copilot for service experience. And we've already seen some of those in the previous screen shots. So this idea of being able to ask a question, compose an email with the context of that case data and what's going on in here, summaries of both the case and the conversation, and then analytics so that you understand what's going on. So if you're an existing customer service enterprise user for Dynamics 365, you've got all of those things included. Get started with those right now. If you're looking forward towards this new license, which is the Copilot for service license that works more broadly across other systems and includes the Microsoft 365 Copilot license, then you're going to get all of those things and a whole lot more. This is the availability and pricing that was announced at Ignite. So we're looking at preview in December, hopefully not too far away. Hit the uh, subscribe button here. I will be doing content on this when I get it and then generally available in the first quarter of next year. Priced at 50 US dollars per month. Now, the Microsoft 365 Copilot alone is $30 per user per month. So you're getting a lot of value with this license. It's a high price tag, but you're getting for each user that you license this for all of this stuff around being able to do generative AI with the customer service system, as well as across all of the productivity tools. The other thing you're getting here is the ability to configure and extend it. You can put in specific conversational threads that you want the Copilot to have and to create other actions out of there using Microsoft Copilot Studio. And if you'd like to learn more about that, check out my video on what that's all about. Thanks for watching.